Hey YouTube, you are in for a treat. My name is Rolf and I'm gonna take you through a journey of 7.3 things to do in the French Polynesia. French Polynesia is the most beautiful island you could ever imagine to visit. It's like nothing you have ever seen before. And we are going to give you the best side of it. Don't even bother looking for any other videos than the one Yes Yes Travel has made. The list to do is not in order, where number one is the best. Actually, we have saved the best all the way to the end. I can tell you I am stoked to get started on this list and I hope you are too. Let's do this! French Polynesia is some of the most remote islands in the world and we have been lucky enough to travel to a handful of them. The water around the islands is some of the clearest in the world and the best coral reefs you have ever seen. They are known for a vast animal life of whales, dolphins and sharks. All the islands are good hiking destinations and they are even known for their famous vanilla all over the world. So with all this magic, how come so few people actually know the names of the islands? Don't you worry, we are here to learn you more about them so that you get the best out of your next visit. So are you ready for the number one tip in the French Polynesia? Number one. We have to go to a small island with the name of Taha. Taha is an island located among the western group of the Leeward Islands, of the Society Islands in the French Polynesia an overseas territory of France in the Pacific Ocean and it holds a population of a little over 5,000 people. The island of Taha and the neighboring Rayatea are enclosed by the same coral reef and they may once have been a single island. According to the Polynesian legend, Taha and Rayatea were separated by the wagging tail of an eel, possessed by the spirit of a princess. Like most Polynesian islands, Taha bases its economy on fishing and tourism. There are numerous hotels and tourist villages on the island. Taha is world famous for its vanilla production, which accounts for about 80% of all Polynesian production. Taha is also known as the Vanilla Island, and the aroma of vanilla is unmistakably in the air. An Asian tradition in Taha is rock fishing, which was very popular, especially in the past. The fishermen sit in pairs in different canoes, all lined up a few dozen meters from the shore inside the reef. In each boat, one fisherman stands at the bow and hits the surface of the sea with a large stone tied to a rope while the other paddles toward the shore. Anyway, we do recommend visiting the island of Taha to smell the aroma of vanilla on the island and get inspiration to eat the vanilla ice cream on the island or surrounding islands. Every time you eat the ice cream after, it will bring back some of the best memories of your life. Number 2. Go to the island of Tahiti and visit Papete. Almost 27,000 people can call Papete their home and over 136,000 people live in the urban area of Papete. Papete is definitely the most crowded and least personal of the French Polynesian islands. It's the closest thing you can come to a city between Hawaii and Australia. Papeta holds the only international airport in the French Polynesia and makes it a natural stop for most tourists. Don't mistake the busy city and horrific traffic for an ugly island. Tahiti still holds beautiful waterfalls, hiking tours and crystal clear ocean. The island of Tahiti actually have the three highest mountains in the French Polynesia, where all of them stands above 2000 meters tall. So Tahiti is definitely a place to visit. Number 3. Drive around the island of Muora. The name Muora comes from the Tahitian word mu ore a meaning yellow lizard. Mount Tuihea is an extinct volcano of the island of Muora in the French Polynesia. It is the island's highest point of 1207 meters. The mountain is about 2 miles 3.2 kilometers from Pau Pau and is easily visible from Papete, the capital of French Polynesia. So it might not come as a surprise that the island is a great destination for hiking. Moara is also known for their pearls and a lot of small black tip reef sharks all around 
the island. Where there are sharks, there are also stingrays. And the curious stingrays on this island will actually come all the way up to you. On the drive around Mora, you have the opportunity to experience deep Polynesian roots and the culture is definitely something you can feel and see all around the island. The people on Moora is some of the friendliest you will ever meet. So don't miss out on Moora on your trip to the French Polynesia. Number four, do a catamaran trip around Morea. Yes, you heard correctly, Morea has more to offer. A catamaran trip in the French Polynesian climate is something out of another world. You can feel the wonderful breeze from the ocean and the perfect temperature hitting your face, hair and body. There is no word for the feeling that describes it. You will get a scenic view of the azure blue ocean everywhere that you drive. Ask the captain to take the boat through a passage that the island has several of. It will give you a scenic view of the coral reef and you will also be able to say you have done it later on. If you don't know what a passage is, check out our video from Rayatea. Number 5. Snorkel in the crystal clear water. Snorkeling in the crystal clear water is a must do when you are in the French Polynesia. If you ever get an opportunity to put your mask on and jump in the water, do it at any given time. The water holds up perfect temperature and you don't need any wetsuit here. Remember, see but don't touch. Both coral reefs and turtles need to be protected against people who molest it underwater. We have actually seen idiots touching turtles when we have been snorkeling and this was in Australia and we even caught it on camera. The thing is that the turtles get sick from the fat in your skin so when you're touching them you can spread virus among turtles. So do you guys agree with me on this matter then comment your opinion below. Oh yeah and subscribe or I will report you to my wife. Number 6. Do everything you can do to see sharks. Oh yes, this is a good one. Seriously, do everything you can to see sharks. Sharks are amazing animals and they are pretty safe to snorkel with. Just don't start jumping in the water if you see a great white because they will fuck you up. Anyways, snorkeling and diving with sharks is an amazing feeling and one of the best places to experience it is in the French Polynesia. You can actually see pretty big bull sharks near the famous island of Bora Bora. If you have never done this before, it should be an item on your bucket list. Because the first time you can feel the adrenaline rushing through your veins and you will actually feel much smaller. Because you know, like really know, if it wants to take a taste of you, it can do it at any time. Number 7. Spend a day on a mutu. Sometimes when you travel you should pick up some local words. A smart word to pick up in the French Polynesia is most definitely the word mutu. Because mutu means heaven on earth. The word don't actually means heaven on earth. That's just what I think the experience of visiting a mutu is. The word actually means to be separated. Which makes sense from a geographical standpoint as a mutu is a reef islet formed by broken coral and sand surrounding an atoll. In other words, a very very small island that the South Pacific Ocean holds thousands of. It is possible to own a muru, so if you get invited to one, make sure to say yes. You may even get served some delicious food on the muru and possibly make some new friends. Number 7.1 Hike the incredible landscape. Hiking is good in any destination, but hiking in the French Polynesia is next level. Literally any island you can go to has hiking destinations and almost all the islands has incredible waterfalls. Make sure to hike and see the sharp volcanic edges of the mountains. And what disturbs your view to other islands is the crystal clear azure blue water with perfect coral reef in the way. Sounds like a really sad experience, don't you think? Number 7.2 Experience local food and the fresh, fresh fish that they have in the French Polynesia. French Polynesia holds amazing food. Just remember the vanilla I recently talked about and the ice cream we ate. Just so you really, really get it. French Polynesia starts with French, like French as in France. France has amazing bakeries and the French Polynesia is no different. The pastries are amazing, but so is the food. 
They even have fish dishes with vanilla sauce. How incredible is that? The fish on this island is so amazing and so fresh and I have been many places. But the fish here is something by itself. Also the coconut and pineapple holds an incredible taste. And if you didn't know, the Mai Tai is actually invented in the French Polynesia. So that's a smart drink to order. Number 7.3 Know your season. Yes, you heard correctly. Don't tap out yet because the season is extremely important and you will very soon understand why. It's a reason why this is the most important number on this video and I promise you, you will not get disappointed. Why is the season so important, you may ask? It's not because of the hurricane season that are coming every 15 year. I can tell you that much. And I'm not talking about the humid, dry and the wind season that the islands have either. It's because they have both whale season and dolphin season. All seasons are good times to visit, but the dolphin season and whale seasons is what I really care about. The whales migrate along the islands of the French Polynesia. And in the season, the likability to see a whale is all the way up to words of 95%. Whale season is from August to October, and there are not many other places that you can see whales in that clear water. That are warm, I might add. Now comes the most mind-blowing fact of them all. The dolphin season is every month. That is not humpback whale season. That is pretty crazy, isn't it? So, that's all we had for you today and I hope you really enjoyed the video and make sure to smash the subscribe button.